Hi guys, I thought I'd jump on here and just do a quick little video on something that um, has been, I've been thinking about lately. So in yoga, one of the principles um, of yoga practice is asteya, which is a Hindu term for non-stealing or non-theft. And while we tend to think of that in the physical terms of like not stealing or not taking physical objects from other people, um, I encourage us to look at that in a reflective state of mind. So that can also extend to um, other people stealing your time. And what that looks like is that friend that calls you, that talks for 30 minutes and you don't get a word in edgewise. That looks like someone um, stealing your idea and make, making it come to fruition in spite of you disclosing or sharing this information with them. Personally, um, in a reflective way, I feel like it's helpful to think about this in terms of how are we stealing from ourselves? So what opportunities are we stealing from ourselves? And what that can look like is being afraid to try something new or being afraid to dive into a topic or address something that's going on, address a pattern or a behavior or a thought process that we have. Being afraid to do that will steal the opportunity for us to address it and um, come at it in a more healthy uh, way, if you will. That can also look like um, taking time away from friends and family or from yourself because you overextend yourself. Um, it can look like um, devoting extra time to work, picking up extra shifts, etc., at the detriment to yourself. So sometimes, you know, it's okay to do that as long as it's not affecting you in a negative way because then you're stealing from yourself. You're stealing from your self care, your self reflection, and sometimes you just need that private time to reflect and think about things to yourself. So I encourage you to look at the ways that non-stealing um, affects you in your personal daily life, especially with trauma. We tend to not disclose things. We tend to shrug things off or sweep them under the rug, if you will, and not address them. And that's really theft of an opportunity to gain a different perspective or a different frame of mind or mindset or a frame of reference, if you will. It's theft of an opportunity to have a different life, um, to see things differently and to act and respond differently instead of just reacting to those scenarios and situations. So think about the ways in which you take away from yourself. Um, we tend to externalize things a lot and look for external validation in um, in things and jobs and situations and relationships, etc. But we don't tend to really look to ourselves to that. And I think that's really kind of uh, theft of an ability, if you will. So when you can internalize that and not seek that external validation and you, because you gain it from yourself internally, it's really a much more fulfilling, uh, purposeful and mission driven kind of life that you lead. So just look at those ways and, and think about how you might be taking away from yourself today, whether that's, oh, I don't have time to do that, or I would do that, but that um, takes too much time away from work or from school or from the family or the children, et cetera, et cetera. Um, think about ways in which you can give back to yourself today. Thanks. Have a good day.